the next announcement relates to setting up of setting up a uh, setting up of a digital payments intelligence platform the reserve bank has taken a number of measures over the years to deepen digital payments while ensuring their safety and security these measures have boosted consumer confidence growing instances of digital frauds however highlight the need for a system wide approach to prevent and mitigate such frauds it is therefore proposed to establish a digital payments intelligence platform for network level intelligence and real time data sharing across the digital payments ecosystem to take this initiative forward the reserve bank has constituted a committee to examine various aspects of setting up this platform the next announcement relates to inclusion of recurring payments with auto replenishment facility under the e mandate framework the adoption of e mandates for recurring payment transactions has been increasing it is now proposed to include payments such as replenishment of balances in fastag national common mobility card that is ncmc etc which are recurring in nature but without any fixed periodicity in the e mandate framework this will enable customers to automatically replenish the balances in fastag ncmc etc if the balance goes below the threshold limit set by them this will enhance convenience in making travel and mobility related payments the next announcement relates to introduction of auto replenishment of uh, upi lite wallet and uh, it also includes inclusion under the e mandate framework upi lite was introduced in september 2022 to enable small value payments in a quick and seamless manner through an on device wallet to encourage wider adoption of upi lite it is now proposed to bring in to bring it under the e mandate framework by introducing a facility for customers to automatically replenish their upi lite wallets if the balance goes below the threshold limit set by them 